What up guys, it's Boss Jackal, and today, I'm gonna be reviewing, yeah, I don't think I need to say the name of this action figure, because we already know who this is, everybody already knows, everybody already knows who this is, it's Cat, but anyways, um, yeah, before I get into the action figure, Let's take a close look at the weapons that she comes with. And starting off here is a laser cannon. But, um, yeah, it has a little bit of detail. It doesn't have that much detail. The only detail that it has, or should I say design, um, it, it just says UNSC right there. And that's like a little bit of brown right there on the top. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just all green, gray, and silver. You know, it would be nice if there were like a red line coming down here. I'll add a little more. But you know, it doesn't. But it, it still doesn't look that bad. It still looks kind of good. And here's the Magnum, um, dropped it again, just like in the last video, but anyways, here's the Magnum, it's just black and gray, it looks pretty good, you know, the laser cannon, it looks like they tried putting as much detail as they can, but you know, they kind of couldn't, but this Magnum, it has two colors, but it still looks good. And, uh, yeah. Now, half of her hand, half of her uh, hands, um, are like robotic looking hands, and the other ones are more like human looking hands. Also, she comes with a head switch out, and she only had, comes with four pairs of hands this time, because of the head switch out. T t it takes one of the... It takes one of the arms, one of the hands out of there. So that's why she only comes with the, uh, what for this time. But I know as here are the hand switch outs. Here's the robot one. And here's the non-robot one, the regular one. So there's the difference between these two alright so these other two hands are different you get this one I'm not sure if this one is made to hold a gun I know these other two are, are made to hold a gun but this one yeah I don't know the mode is pretty good but um, yeah here's also this fist it can I don't think it can hold I don't think it can hold anything. You got a hole right there, but like Yeah, I don't think it will hold it will hold anything. I gotta keep repeating this stuff, making sure that I say it correctly. Alright, but anyways I hear the action figure. So so two things, you know, everything about this figure is great, but I have two issues with this one. The first issue is all wobbly and stuff, like this waist piece right here. The waist is all wobbly. The next part is, um, it's missing its knee pads, like, I didn't, when I first was getting this action figure, I didn't look at the packaging, like, you know, I wasn't paying attention to the action figure, so when I took it out, I realized I was missing something. So, yeah, I might get another cat as a replacement, or I might just keep it like this. And, yeah, so to save some money. I might, I don't know. But, um, yeah, she, and here's the head switch out that she comes with. It looks pretty good. Looks it looks like in the game. It's kind of a little too bright. 
I think it needs a wash or something. Like a dark wash. To make it look a little more dirtier or something. But anyways, yeah. So for articulation, it's pretty good. This can turn like this. Wrist can turn. Head 360. Alright, right, but anyways, uh, this waist moves. Actually, it's a double one. Double waist. Articulation there, and this arm is the same. I think. Alright, so this one is, uh... Yeah, it's a little different. So this one has two movements on this part, so you can move it, that part right there, or move this part. So, yeah, you can move this whole entire part right here, or... You can move this. Like so. But this one uh, doesn't have a double part. Doesn't have a double part articulation right here. So yeah. Head once again 360. Legs. If, she, if you want her to do the splits. You can't because um, this armor part right here pretty much bumps in. To her um, piece right there. The waist. Like the inside right there. So if I do this. You can see this part bumps in. I'm actually wondering if this part. Um, you know I know you can take these things off. Turn them around. And then place them back in. And then there's like a little spot right there for. The gun to go on the side like this. But this one looks like it could come off. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna pull this off. I wanna see. It looks like it could come off, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm afraid I might break the action figure. I don't wanna do that. But gonna is articulation right here, and yeah, no, there we go. Yeah, articulation right here on this part. Articulation on this part of the leg can even go up and down. We can even turn this. And even these action figures even have a peg on them. So like, they none of these guys come with stands. So like, I'm wondering, are they gonna make like vehicles in the future or something? I don't think they'll make any warthogs or anything like that in the future for these guys because, um, yeah, these guys are a little too big. And a warthog would probably be like, I can't even, <laughs> you guys can't even see my hands, how far they are. But, um, yeah, something like that, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, something like that, something close to that. But, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, she even has articulation right here. This one, this one, this robot arm cannot move like this one. So, yeah. Oh, I heard it click. Okay, nothing broke. It's just this. Thank God. But anyways, yeah, this part doesn't have this, but this part does have, like, a part right there where you can move it. Alright, so for the head switch out. I'm just gonna remove it on camera. There you go. So it has a little bit of a ball joint, so you can't make her look up or down. It doesn't matter. Seems like once she has her helmet on, you know it's not gonna go all the way. But anyways, you have this. If I can get the head on there. Oops. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. All right, there you go. Oh, okay. That's that's not that bad. I like the looks of it. The head scope is not that bad. She even she even has a, like a scar right here. 
I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but um, yeah, she doesn't look that bad. Oh, the back of the head. But um, yeah. Helmet is kind of big. All right, now for the head. No, I mean for the hands, I should say. These are way too thin. So when you're pulling these out, you gotta be really careful not to break this. Because for that hand, it's like really thin. So you gotta be really careful on how you do this. There you go. Right, so that hand, it's a fist. Kind of looks a little small. But sure, I guess it's not that bad. And, uh... Oh boy, don't break, and there we go, okay. So here it is with the other hand. That she has. So I guess this is made to hold like a gun. I'm gonna try to put a magnum. A magnum on his hand. Yeah, this is kind of hard. I kind of do think her fingers should put the gun there, but like, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. It might break or something, I don't know. Alright, uh, this could go in there, but it's kind of loose. Because I don't know if his fingers are supposed to go in there or not. But I'm not going to put it in there. Oh yeah, for the other hand, you got, um... Let's see. You got this hand. You got two of these hands. I'm not sure... If this one could hold a gun or not. So I'm going to test that out right now. I just moved my camera. Alright, there we go. There you go, kind of got it. Alright, the, the gun is kind of banding. Magnum. This kind of doesn't want to fit on his hand. Yeah, that, that, that one kind of doesn't want to go in her hand. Alright, other hand. Now I have to do this off camera. Alright, I cannot get this on her hand. Also, I'm sorry if you hear, like, noises in the background. I mean, I can't get this magnum on her hand. I guess you're supposed to like squeeze it in there or something. So I think it's a rubber. But um, yeah, I can't get it in there. <coughs> well, I guess you're supposed to put the finger in there. Got her. Holding the laser cannon. Doesn't look that bad. I'm trying to get her to hold this magnum. I think that's how it's supposed to go, so I'm assuming I do put the finger in there then. 
Alright, now... Kind of secure, it's not gonna fall off. So yeah, that's pretty good. The guns here are not gonna fall off. Okay, the magnum just fell off. But yeah, it's kind of hard to put the... Um, guns on her hands. I don't want to put her finger through the trigger here. I don't want to put it through the hole like this. Because I'm my Because... I might, um, bend, <coughs> alright, I might bend the, um, the mold, and you know, that's kind of gonna disfigure it, and yeah, I don't want that, but anyways, yeah, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and like and subscribe, goodbye.